First, take out of all items from the package. There are monitor, camera, bracket, power cord, cigarette adapter, video cable and T-taps. Follow my operation. Pick up the video cable. Connect the side of the video cable without the DC connector to the extension cable of the camera. Red connector connects to red, yellow connector connects to yellow. Connect the other side of the video cable with the DC connector to the monitor extension cable. Red connector connects to red, yellow connector connects to yellow. Pick up the cigarette lighter adapter. Connect the cigarette lighter adapter to the DC connector on the video cable. Insert the cigarette lighter adapter into the cigarette lighter outlet. Press the red button, the red button lights up. The monitor lights up and the image appear on the screen. Hold the sensor with your finger, you can see the LED light. The test finished. Now disconnect all wiring. Connect the other side of the video cable with the DC connector to the camera extension cable. Red connector connects to red, yellow connector connects to yellow. Connect the side of the video cable without the DC connector to the extension cable of the monitor. The yellow connector on the monitor extension cable is the AV1 channel, and the white connector is the AV2 channel, reverse priority. Red connector connects to red, yellow connector connects to white. Connect the power cord to the DC connector of the video cable. The red wire is connected to the positive wire of the backup light, license plate light or tail light. The black wire is connected to the negative wire of the backup light, license plate light or tail light. The monitor lights up and the image appear on the screen. Pick up the windshield mount. Loosen the screw. The bracket can be adjusted flexibly. Pull up the buckle. Align the bracket with the hole on the back of the monitor and snap it in. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screws. Follow my operation. Tear off the bottom protective film, you can install it on the dashboard. And pull down the buckle. You can also mount it on the windshield. There are three keys. M, menu, key, plus, up, key, minus, down, key. When the guideline appear on the screen, press the M key, when the H appear the screen. Press the up or down key to move the guideline to the left or right. Press the M key, when the V appear the screen. Press the up or down key to adjust the height of the guideline. Press the M key, when the W appear the screen. Press the up or down key to adjust the width of the guideline. Press the M key to switch to the brightness. Press the up or down keys to adjust the brightness. Press the M key to switch to the contrast. Press the up or down keys to adjust the contrast. Press the M key to switch to the saturation. Press the up or down keys to adjust the saturation. Press the M key to switch to the tint. Press the up or down keys to adjust the tint. 
Press the M key to switch to the zoom. Press the up or down keys to switch screen size ratio. Press the M key to switch to the guideline. Press the up or down keys to turn off the guideline. Presses the M key to quit the menu mode. The guideline not appear on the screen. Presses the M key to switch to the guideline. Press the up or down keys to turn on the guideline. Presses the M key to quit the menu mode. The guideline appear on the screen. Presses the M key to switch to the language. Press the up or down keys to select the language you need. Press the M key to switch to the reset. Please ignore this operation. Press the M key to quit the menu mode. Press the down key to turn off the guideline. Press the down key again to turn on the guideline. There is a green and a white thin wire on the camera extension cable. Use a tool to cut the green line. Hold the sensor with your finger, you can't see LED light. The monitor is now in mirror rear view. Use a tool to cut the white line. Turn off the monitor's power and quickly turn on. The monitor automatically switches to front view. If you need the camera's LED to light up or the monitor to switch to mirror mode, use a tool to cut off the rubber outside the thin green wire. Be careful not to cut the copper wire inside. Now merge the cut green wire. Merge the thin green wires. You can use tape to wrap the exposed copper wires. Hold the sensor with your finger, you can see LED light. Use a tool to cut off the rubber outside the thin white wire, be careful not to cut the copper wire inside. Now merge the cut white wire. Merge the thin white wires, you can use tape to wrap the exposed copper wires. Turn off the monitor's power and quickly turn on. The monitor automatically switches to rear view. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom. 